All right, how we doing guys? Dino here from Fundamental Guitar. In this lesson, I'm gonna be showing you how to play He Loves Me by Jill Scott. Uh, it's a fantastic track taken from a fantastic album, the Who Is Jill Scott album. And um, it, we've got a neo soul kind of jazz hip hop fusion vibe going on. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this track guys. Um, but sticking to the, the hip hop feel, um, you know, we can use a loop or you know a simple progression so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to boil it down to just four chords guys so really simple progression really straightforward turnaround um, but it's still going to sound really cool with the melody on top so as always we're going to have a listen to how it sounds first and then uh, we'll go into a close-up and uh, break everything down so you love me especially different every time That's how it sounds guys uh, as you see really simple progression uh, we're just repeating four chords over but it still sounds really nice uh, so what we're going to do now is go into a close-up and start breaking everything down okay so we're going to be starting off first chord we want is e flat minor nine okay so look in the description for the tabs guys everything's written there okay and obviously here you can see what fingers i'm using to play the chords. so there's no need for me to go through put this finger on this string on that for it it can get a bit tedious, okay? You can see the nut of the guitar as well, and you've got the, the, the fret markers so you can understand and navigate, see where I'm, I, I'm at on the guitar neck, all right? So here we are, um, E flat minor nine, it's gonna be held for a bar, then we're gonna go to A flat minor seven, okay? Then we're gonna go to a B major seven, followed by, for a bar, and then a B flat seven for a bar. You could play a B flat minor seven for a bar as well, mess around with it, um, find different parts of the song where that works. But I think the flat, the dominant seven adds a bit more tension for you to get back to your uh, D minor nine, okay? So let's have a look at the timing. For the first part of the song, I was playing like whole note semi brief So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three. And then I was going into my picking pattern. Your cologne, your hands, your smile, your intelligence. Okay, so we'll have a look at what we're doing there. Make note of the right hand, you know, what strings I'm plucking. So for the D minor nine, sorry, E flat minor nine, I'm going, I'm plucking the middle four strings. Okay, so the bass note's here, fifth string. Okay, um, so that's our uh, E flat. So I'm plucking the bass note first. Then the treble strings, followed by a mute very quickly after it's gonna snap on, so. Okay, that's the first part. And then when I'm muting it, I'm slapping my fingers back into place um, to get ready to pull all four strings simultaneously, so. And another slap. So you can hear the reverb come through the amp, they get that kind of percussive beat going in there as well, so. And then we're gonna change. And the bass note changes now for the next three chords to the sixth string, but it's just the same thing. Three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and... Okay, so there we go. That's everything, guys. It's just, just those four chords. So I have to mention, uh, I mean, there's different ways of playing 
which calls a minor nine, probably that's the most common way. The minor seven, you know, some people like to um, use the little half bar, uh, you know, use a textbook way of playing it. Um, whatever feels comfortable for you guys. The major seven, uh, some people use the index, okay? And with the dominant seven, you know, you can play the textbook way of doing it. Um, it's just easier this for me, it's an easier grip and, you know, I'm eliminating strings that I'm not playing. Okay, and one other thing to mention with regards to the, the name that I'm giving the chords. Um, so D minor, uh, E flat minor nine, A flat uh, minor seven. So here we've got what I call a B major seven and then a B flat seven. So really in terms of like key signature, you can't really have the B and the B flat. Uh, you can't have that on the stage, it wouldn't work. So more than likely, I'm just guessing here, this is, don't quote me on this, but the, the, what I've said a B flat major seven, B major seven probably would be referred to as a C flat major seven and then you've got your b flat seven there as well okay so that's what i'm going to call it in the description not not a b um major seven but a c flat major seven which is basically the same thing so you take a c major seven and you flatten it by one semitone then it's a b major seven right and then you've got your b flat seven and there we go that's all the parts of the song there guys okay there we go that's the lesson guys uh hopefully it made sense and you enjoyed uh learning the song if you have any questions as always just leave me a comment and i'll get back to you and hopefully I shall see you again soon. Take care.